Welcome to Headline News 24/7. Please click like and subscribe. Trump just nailed Kavanaugh accuser to the wall with blunt sudden announcement. Judge Brett Kavanaugh has been in a whirlwind of controversy since a few weeks ago. Ever since an accuser came out and said she was sexually assaulted by him, the process has been in turmoil. Now, President Trump has made an announcement regarding Judge Kavanaugh and it is going to nail Kavanaugh's accuser to the wall. The New York Times reported. After a tense night of legal brinkmanship, the chairman of the Senate Judiciary Committee late Friday told lawyers for the woman who has accused Judge Brett M. Kavanaugh of sexual assault that they can have until 2.30 p.m. Saturday to negotiate the terms of their client's testimony before the panel next week. The chairman, Senator Charles E. Grassley, Republican of Iowa, made his announcement on Twitter shortly before midnight, after lawyers for Christine Blasey Ford sent an angry email accusing his staff of bullying their client. He directed his tweet to Judge Kavanaugh, President Trump's nominee to the Supreme Court, who has flatly denied the assault and has said he is eager to testify to clear his name. Judge Kavanaugh just granted another extension to Dr. Ford to decide if she wants to proceed w the statement she made last week to testify to the Senate, Mr. Grassley wrote, using Twitter shorthand. She shld decides so we can move on I want to hear her. I hope you understand. It's not my normal approach to be indecisive. In an email to the lawyers, aides to Mr. Grassley said that they absolutely must hear by 2.30 p.m. that Dr. Blasey, who also goes by her married name, Ford, has agreed to their terms for testifying. It was not clear precisely what those terms were. The late-night missives were the latest twist in a legal tango that has riveted Washington, with a lifetime appointment to the nation's highest court hanging in the balance. The back-and-forth has also infuriated Mr. Trump, who lashed out on Friday at Dr. Blasey on Twitter, saying that if the attack was as bad as she says, she or her parents would have reported it to the authorities when it happened more than 30 years ago. The comment was Mr. Trump's first direct attack on Dr. Blasey, 51 a research psychologist in Northern California who has accused Judge Kavanaugh of pinning her to a bed, grinding his body against her and muffling her screams at a party when they were teenagers in the early 1980s. She has said that she is willing to testify publicly, though not on Monday, the date Mr. Grassley had scheduled a hearing. Throughout the day on Friday, Dr. Blasey's lawyers and Senate Judiciary Committee aides tried to work out details like how many photographers and television cameras would be in the room, Dr. Blasey, fearful of being mobbed by the news media, wanted one of each, who would ask the questions, Republicans wanted an outside lawyer, Dr. Blasey favored senators, and what day the session would take place. But as the workday drew to a close, Mr. Grassley announced that the judiciary panel would vote on Judge Kavanaugh's confirmation on Monday morning unless negotiators reached an agreement by 10 p.m. Friday. One of Dr. Blasey's lawyers, Deborah S. Katz, responded a few hours later with a blistering email accusing Mr. Grassley's aides of pressuring her client to agree to conditions you find advantageous to the nominee, and of imposing aggressive and artificial deadlines whose sole purpose is to bully Dr. Ford. Ms. Katz asked for an additional day to negotiate, and in the end, Mr. Grassley acquiesced. But he did not seem happy about it. In a follow-up tweet sent after the one directed to Judge Kavanaugh, Mr. Grassley wrote, with all the extensions we give Dr. Ford to decide if she still wants to testify to the Senate I feel like I'm playing second trombone in the Judiciary Orchestra and Schumer is the conductor. He was referring to Senator Chuck Schumer of New York, the Democratic leader. Dr. Blasey's allegations, which for weeks had been kept secret by the top Democrat on the Judiciary Committee, have knocked the White House and its conservative allies, who fear that their chance to remake the court is slipping away, on their heels. In a bizarre turn, one of those allies, the conservative legal analyst Edward Whelan, posted pictures on Twitter on Thursday night of a high school classmate of Judge Kavanaugh's, with the man's name, and suggested that the man was responsible for the assault. On Friday, facing condemnation from liberals and conservatives alike, Mr. Whelan apologized. In his tweet on Friday, Mr. Trump called on Dr. Blasey to produce contemporaneous law enforcement reports so that we can learn date, time, and place. Dr. Blasey, who was around 15 at the time of the assault, has said publicly that she did not report it to the authorities, and that she does not recall exactly when it took place. Experts say many women are reluctant to come forward and report sexual assaults, in part because they fear they will not be believed. Mr. Trump's broadside outraged many women, some of whom took to social media and the news media to reveal their own stories of long-ago sexual assaults. Patty Davis, the daughter of President Ronald Reagan and his wife, Nancy, wrote an opinion article for The Washington Post revealing that she was raped about 40 years ago, and like Dr. Blasey, is hazy on the details. 
As a result of the controversy, hundreds of women went to social media to share their stories of sexual assault. One, in particular, is former first daughter Patty Davis, who was the daughter of President Reagan. She wrote an opinion article for The Washington Post about the alleged incident where she revealed she was raped 40 years ago, and like the Kavanaugh accuser, does not remember a lot about the details of the night. President Trump went to Twitter however when he went to Twitter to discuss the investigation there were allegations he did so against the advice of his aides. The risk was that President Trump could come off as a bully, which could potentially make the bitter visions between both parties worse. Until Friday, President Trump was largely leaving the investigation to the Senate Judiciary Committee to handle the sexual assault accusations. There are rumors that he was being repeatedly reminded by his legislative aides how important it was for Congress to get Judge Kavanaugh confirmed on the Supreme Court. That was the news. We thought you might be interested in knowing about this. Please click like and subscribe. Thank you.